Okay. Hi everyone. Welcome to the Grace Life DIY Home Decor. So I thought I would read something to you from my devotional book. And yeah, I think it would bless you today. So let's get started. Okay guys. So I had gotten this as a gift. Actually, my son was the one who got uh, this devotional book as a gift. And it's uh, 365 days, which is you read one devotional a day. Most of these are formatted this way. So you'll get a scripture, okay? And then you get, um, you get uh, a message. And then normally it'll end with a prayer or some kind of wording or something that you can pray for or confess um, each day. But most of the time you meditate on what you're reading and and that devotional, which is that page, that uh, that subject. So this one is called Proclaiming Faith. But before that, I love how this was worded here in the introduction. And it says, faith is actively choosing to believe in something or someone. Living by faith is not circumstantial and it is not produced by accident. In a world where people live their own truths, it can be hard to discern what living out your faith in God really looks like. And although some may tolerate your faith, many believe there is no one, no right one. Us, we know that's not true. But no one can argue with your personal experience of knowing Christ and having a certain peace that comes from believing the promise of your future with him. Amen. I absolutely love that. So let's continue. Oh, and by the way, here is my mug that I got from school. I'm so happy. I thought this was a beautiful Christmas gift from my instructor. That was awesome. Okay, so if we continue on here, you know, people may argue with you about the word of God. People can argue, they can argue anything. Pretty much we can argue about anything and twist everything around. Um, to suit us and make us feel good. But one thing they cannot argue is your walk with God and your experience with God and what God has done for you. So hold on to that thought. Now, in these da daily devotionals or encouragements, um, you know, these are just things that you can focus on for the day. You know, sometimes I focus on them all the time. We don't do things perfectly, but you know, I might not have arrived, but I've left the station. And I know that God is working a work in me. I don't do things perfectly, but I know that he's working them out with me. So I'm okay with that. And so with that being said, let me continue reading this and then we'll continue with the discussion. So in this daily devotional or in, uh, this encouraging book that helps to build your faith through pondering, inspiring messages, reading God's word and spending time in his presence. Guys, I'm gonna tell you this, that is very, very important. You need to spend time alone with God or just sitting in his presence quietly in a place that's just you and him. This is very, very important for your prayer life. So I just thought I'd tell you that. Now, um, as you do, you will notice other virtues being added to your faith. With belief comes goodness, knowledge, self-control. And that produces the kind of fruit that is a testimony of your faith in Christ. When you suffer hardship, you know where to turn. You know to turn to Jesus. Okay, because he's faithfulness. He is the cornerstone of your own faith. You can trust him because he has proven himself trustworthy. And the faith that withstands the fire of adversity brings blessings beyond all imagination. Amen. You know, that is so, so true. You go through things in your life and you will continue going through things in your life. There's always going to be your highs and your lows throughout your whole life. Um... But with him in the center of all of it, you know, he does, he does such a work in you, you know, when you trust in him. And I've gone through this myself where, you know, sometimes we do question certain things, but we shouldn't question anything. 
You know, when we believe in him, we need to cast our care into him because we're not designed to carry the weight of this world. We're not. And when we do that, it makes us sick. It, it weighs us down and we don't trust him. We don't trust him. And so he says he'll be filled with hope, encourage, and confidence as you step out into faith each day. And you know, we can do this together. We can do this every single day. And it's really about changing your mind. And changing your mind is really what we call repentance. But with this introduction on faith and knowing that no matter what anybody says, this is the infallible word of God, and I choose to make a decision to believe it, you will strive in leaps and bounds. God will bless you in so many different ways. You are faithful to him, and he will be faithful to you. I, like I said, I haven't arrived, but I've left the station. God is doing a work in me, and I trust him. I trust him. I would rather live in this earth and go through things with him then, then um, I, I, I refuse to go th through anything without him. Okay, he is in my life. I've made that decision. And I will preach the gospel of Jesus Christ till the day he comes back to take me home. So with that being said, um, let's go over to the chapter, guys. Okay. So, in this first one right here, um, it's called Proclaiming Faith. Uh, they did give us two scriptures. In the other pages, it's only, you know, you go with the one page, so you only get the one scripture. But in this beginning one, we got two, so let's read them. Okay, so Matthew 21, 22 in the ESV reads like this. Whatever you ask in prayer, you will receive if you have faith you know so um one of the habits i get into is reading stuff slowly and pausing and then meditating on what you're reading um because sometimes we go through stuff very quickly we miss what god is trying to say so let's read that again whatever you ask in prayer comma you will receive comma, if you have faith. Very strong uh, scripture here. So let's go over here where it says 2 Thessalonians 1.11 in the NLT, which is the New Living Translation, reads like this. May he give you the power to accomplish all the good things your faith promotes you to do. That's an awesome scripture. Let's read that again. May he give you the power to accomplish all things your faith promotes you to do. Amen. Okay, so let's get into the reading. Have you ever been afraid of what others will think? Um, have you ever been afraid of what others will think of you when they learn that you are a Christian? Do you ever worry that people may assume that you are some sort of weirdo if you proclaim your faith? It can be hard enough to fit in without uh, giving society another reason to shun you. Be assured there is no reason to be afraid. God has given us his Holy Spirit to guide us through these tough conversations. Um, be bashful no more. He has equipped you with all the talent that you need to share his love with those around you. There will be some that will laugh and there will be some who will scorn you for your beliefs. God himself tells us through his word that we have nothing to fear. And trust me, we don't have anything to fear. Shake off your timidity. Picture yourself shedding it off like a winter coat in the warm spring. Be prepared to share your faith without fear. God has sent his Holy Spirit to give you power when you lack it. Take advantage of it. So in the name of Jesus, I'm going to pray this over you. Father, I just pray right now that you just give us the strength where we're weak to stand for what we believe in. And that's you. 
and give us the strength and the confidence to proclaim our faith without any fear because your word says i have not given you the spirit of fear but of power love and of a sound mind so father give us eyes to see and ears to hear and an open heart that we know that you stand with us that you protect us that you love us because your word says you'll never leave us nor forsake us no matter how hard these conversations can be no one can take away our experience and what you do for us in the name of Jesus. Amen. I hope you have an awesome day today. I hope that it's blessed and with God's favor filled everywhere you go. So thank you so much uh, for this video. And I hope that you have an awesome day today, an amazing day. And yeah, if you like the video, click like, share, and comment. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. And don't forget to hit that notification bell so that you can get notified every single time I upload a video. Until the next one, be blessed. Amen.